Welcome to Joyful Living DMV. We invest in real estate. Don't forget to subscribe to Joyful Living DMV YouTube channel and visit us online at joyfullivingdmv.com. Hi, I'm Kathy Carley with Joyful Living and today we are joined by Rachel from Studio A Staging. Hello. We're going to talk just a little bit about tips for staging a completed renovated house. So let's start here in the living room. We have a quite a nice size living room with not tons and tons of furniture. No, so sorry to interrupt you, but the key to staging is not to clutter the room. You don't want to come in and distract potential buyers from the home, but you only want to accentuate the home. So bringing in too much furniture could clutter the home, which you wanted to undo before you renovated or came in and staged. So we like to keep the furniture to a minimum, but we also like to accentuate the space with colors, um, specific furniture that fit the room. You don't want to bring in a couch that's too big for the room or a couch that's too small for the room. So we try to always focus on those little things that help make the room look a bit bigger and accentuate the space. Fantastic. So here we are in the living room and we're standing in front of a beautiful fireplace. Yes. And Rachel, tell us what makes this fireplace pop. First of all, the painting inside in the interior of the fireplace. Well, we can focus on the gorgeous accents and the white. Um, I am a huge advocate for painting fireplaces white on the exterior. However, painting fireproofing paint in the interior to make it pop as well. And that's easy to come by. I mean, that's about one, one and a half cans of Rust-Oleum high heat um, spray paint with, uh, obviously you gotta paper that off and yeah. you need to have yourself a nice glove on to do that. And you wanna have the house exposed with air because you don't wanna close the well, house. You. Yeah. It doesn't take that long. I did this one, it was my first one to There you go. And I enjoy doing that. And it doesn't take long. And it's reasonably priced at Lowe's, Home Depot, I believe that's I, right. I, I get it at Walmart. It's like oh, six Walmart bucks a can. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. I mean, so it's a $12 crazy. project that makes a huge difference. Huge difference. And then when um, they come in and stage, they always put that beautiful wood in there. Yeah. And it really just does finish the fireplace off and make it pop. I I love the fireplaces. That get Me done. too. They're good touches. To so we're going to look up at the ceiling, yeah. and in this living room, um, throughout the main living area, we have recess yes. lights. So tell us your idea about recess lights versus regular lighting. So you know, it's kind of preference, but we always recommend doing recess lighting um, for the purpose of you don't always know where the potential buyer is going to place the furniture, so you don't really want to put a uh, a mounted light with a fan over here and they want to put the couch back there. So we always really suggest you to recess lighting. Um, it kind of makes the room look a bit larger as well as opposed to a fan in the middle of the room with some dark, what are those things called that come out? Fan, fan blades. Um, and sometimes it can just look a bit chintzy um, if it doesn't go with the trim and the color of the floors. So we always suggest recess just makes it easier for the potential buyer and for the agent and the investor to show the house in the best way possible. Absolutely. Um, so, anything else? In oh, this oh, yes. Windows. Windows. You we have beautifully windows. clean windows. Yes. You always want to make sure that windows are basically seamless, no spots, um, no watermarks, just kind of allows the space to be illuminated at the best way possible. Even new windows need to be Yes, washed. even new windows because a lot of fingerprints will become on them as people are coming and going. And those large stickers. And the large stickers. Yeah, the yes, stickers exactly. Off. exactly. Okay. All right. We'll be back with uh, another room in just, well, we'll be back. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching. We ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joyful Living DMV, to automatically see our latest videos.